Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 123 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. So let's jump right in. So, the Holy Core is over and we're mulling over the result. So bathing in the evening wind. They kind of have all standing around thinking about things. Oh man, this has kind of gotten kind of bad. So more than half of the five powers decided that the castle should not go to the God's Haze. So they didn't decide how to dispose of the castle yet. But that's what they're going to decide next time. But, seriously, the odds are against them. So, this crosses the matter of the castle being taboo again. So it's probably going to be even harder next time. Oh boy. I guess it's natural. From their perspective, it's probably, well, not unusual to just defeat Fia without any questions. So they did their company work thing and they had lots of meetings with lots of people. But ultimately, it didn't affect these eminent personages that much, did it? Well, this time they didn't decide to destroy the castle yet. And it's probably thanks to Rishu and Katorito being on our side. Hmm, it wouldn't be nice if everything went well because we had enough good people like that. But, the world isn't that kind, after all. So, if it continues like this, after the next Holy Accords conclusion comes down, Fia's life will be in danger. But, Yeah, as expected, we can't just ignore their conclusion they had this far. It's true that it's really eating at us, the conclusion they did give. The declaration they gave. But if we ignore them and go on uh, off on our own, then all the work we've done to build up the faith in Fia is going to be you know, shaken, to say the least. Uh, but, but, if it's Fia's life, no matter we, what, we have got to protect her. So we've got to figure out a way to get more than half of the reps on our side. So there's got to be some possibility of getting them. Perhaps Raksushia's rep. And also, perhaps because of his position, Kudavance of all people, because he was impartial, at least acted impartial for the sake of his, for the sake of uh, appearances. He's number one amongst the Fuchsia faithful, but perhaps he could be won over? Well, Havara's going to consider it. Yeah, <laughs> but he thinks maybe I'm being too optimistic here. Yeah, he is pretty stubborn in the end. 
Is he honest? Is Alvaro honestly thinking that being related by blood might mean something to him? Well, ultimately, he denied Fia's objective. But perhaps when he's considering the disposal of the castle, he'll consider it differently. What, gotta wonder what that guy's thinking. According to his explanation, he is unconvinced by anything we do. But, you know, I've always got to think it over. So, possibly they'll be obeying the rules laid down by the present gods and dispose of the castle as taboo. And that's what the Fuchsia Faith probably would do. But he's got to think about opportunities in this next meeting. So, what is it that the Fuchsia we faith wants with the castle anyway? Or do they just want to uphold the order that they've been given? Well, no matter how much you think it over, the stuff you don't know doesn't change. So either we got to get him to think a different way or by some other means, figure out a way to get through this. After all this time, if we fail, well, we just can't fail next time. Hmm, in the worst case, we could leave off this mission to the God's Haze and head for some other country where we can hide Fia, protect Fia. Huh. Now, it happened, just as Avar was thinking that. So, from the castle's courtyard, there was a bunch of noisy voices uprising. And, once Avar gets inside, he can see many people wandering about in an uproar. So, what the hell? So, the sun's down, and the scenery is, well, hard to see, thanks to the darkness, but something he does recognize is the sound of armor clanking about, but it's not the elf soldiers, it's got to be the Influs army. What the hell is happening? Yeah, great. Get over there. But for whatever reason, the effect of the seal ropes that have been binding the castle down has been lost, so something's going on there. Alright, so, directing at somebody, hey you, what's going on here? So he's running out in the the one directing the soldiers is the one he approaches. He saw her at the Holy Accords. The Influs Kingdom representative Jiladiyun Jiladiyu Thabul. Kisama wa half elf. Kinki no kami ni tsuki shitagao shito datta ka. Okay, you the half elf. The apostle following the taboo god. So what are you doing here? Are you telling you... Are you going to say that you came with your troops to watch over this? So what's happening? So asking what's going on here, that's what she'd like to know. So why are the seals on the castle broken? 
This is clearly an act of opposition to the will of the council. The uh, Avar doesn't know what to say to that. Yeah, he has no idea what she's talking about. What the hell? So, you can see that we aren't moving the castle. And furthermore, we didn't break the seal. So, his excuses have no meaning. After all, they have proof here. So, in her fist, she grips some of the ropes that have lost their sealing-ishness. Alright, so, we need to understand, as of this, as of this occurrence, we are now rebels. So, after the Holy Accords, we can live with the conclusion, so we plotted a heavy-handed escape. So, simply put, we've chosen a foolish course of action. So, she appears to be quite almost pleased with this, and this troubles Avaro even more. So, what the hell are you talking about? Avaro doesn't know what's going on. And anyway, we don't have any reason to be moving. And anyway, what you should be doing with the castle hasn't been decided yet. The representatives are supposed to be deciding that later. But already, the lay of the battlefield, as far as the whole accords go, has been basically decided. And for that reason, Avaro has decided to move before the conclusion comes down. Right? Oh, surprise, it's Kudavance again. Just as a reminder, Avaro's grandfather. Yeah. So, Kudavance has confirmed it. The, the seal has been broken as you have reported to him. So apparently Favel sent sent for Kudvance upon learning of this. Although how did she learn? Well, whatever. Alright, High Priest. Thanks for your assistance. It's fine. Proceed it. Proceed with the utmost haste. <laughs> All right, well then. These people who are rebelling against the will of Fiusia, she's going to bring the hammer of justice down upon. So, what the hell is going on here after all this? There's some mistake. Just let him confirm what's going on here. Okay, just calm down and submit yourself to arrest, Apostle of your Goddess. Don't resist and accept your fate. Don't tell me. So, Avaro is feeling something a bit off in this particular series of events. So why are these two here? Almost as if they decided the conclusion here from the very beginning and moving in accord here.
perhaps through some means they broke the seals themselves and are trying to blame the point pin the blame on us and furthermore doing it at night before we can mobilize very well so even that woman who is amongst the nobility of the influence seems to be moving of her own accord here these two are pretty prepared and the ones who can break the seal that was on the castle would be the elves and particularly the more high-blooded of the elves and then we find Kudvans here so as if everything was planned out and moving rather too fast in other words Kudvans did you break the seal <laughs> so, watch what you're saying. Do you know whom you're speaking to? <laughs> <laughs> so, he just received a report from the Imperi the Royal Army. And as part of his duties as the High Priest, he came here and confirmed this. So, everything is set from here. Alright, Apostle, deliver up your God. The one who has changed into a taboo existence, deeply sinful and deeply pitiful. So, Kudvance looking down on Avaro. Avaro remembers what happened at the Holy Accords. Ah yes, it was, this was at the very end. Fabu attempted to move to capture and destroy the castle at that time, but Kudvance said something else. First, that it would happen at the next Holy Accord. But, if the castle should happen to do something before the Holy Co Accord should convene, then... Ha, well, here we are, isn't it, aren't we? Ha, ha. You eminent bastards. How arrogant. So, I've always disappointed in you. In the end, you're no better than Gilsh or Gaidal. You'd think nothing of your own circumstances. Kudvan simply asks if he intends to resist. Of course I do. I'm not going to let you take Fia. We're definitely not going to hand her over, and we aren't going to hand over the castle either. So, Havaro's getting worked up here. And thanks to all the commotion, everybody started coming out of the woodwork. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What's going on? So, what's going on? The castle's being invaded. So, everybody's kind of getting their own grasp on the situation. But we don't have time for a big explanation. And that royal general is smiling evilly and, you know, directing her soldiers. So, this is a big help. Rather than making us go onto the castle and search for you, you guys have come out so we can defeat you. Alright, ordering the entire core to order 
So, capture the enemy, and because the enemy is a god, you don't need to hold back. And now we get to clear away the shame that was cast upon Gilch. Hmm, <laughs> whatever. Why do we keep talking about that guy? He's been dead for like, ever. So, the Influus Royal Army is on the move. Ah, oh, bother. Alright, Avaro, what the hell is going on? We've been tricked. That's a short answer. So they decided to break the seal themselves and accuse us of forcefully breaking out of here. And now they're trying to capture all of us along with the castle. Hmm, okay. Seems like we won't have time to talk this one out. Yeah. We can't just let them go and have what they like without resisting. So, everybody, we're moving the castle. The enemies are coming in for us, so... We better get ready to decide this. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head north to the God's Haze. Hey, we're not gonna turn her. Ah. Coup de vance. Why? No. Hmm? Oh. I guess that was a rhetorical question. So, we're going to move the castle. What are we talking about? Well, even though the bonds on the castle have been broken, the castle is still inside of a docking facility. So, any further, well, any resistance is meaningless. Unless we go and destroy the entire facility, we won't be able to move the castle. And shortly, the forces that were stationed at the Whale Jaw Cliff will be arriving. So, these guys' victory is assured. Alright, begin the extermination. This is where we get revenge for the death of Prince Gilsh. Alright, so our objective is to de defeat Fable and Kudans. Oh. Oh. I get to kill elves! Killing elves, killing elves. Ooh. Murder, violence, and mayhem. Kill them all and murder them. Ah, anyway. Focus on what I need to do. Which is... Send most of my guys back. Yeah, these five will be a good core. Well, these four and Fia as a healer. Additionally... I want my ghosts out. Because at least for these first couple of stages, there's nobody who can touch them. Hmm. How nice. Oh man. I was gonna summon Ronin as a third healer. Oh, somebody actually can hurt uh, him. Well, let's fight back, but we'll be retreating soon. Mm. Now in my trial run, I kind of ran out of this earlier. Or rather, what's a good way to say this?
Man, that's annoying. Man, I thought Nikio had another movement point. Okay, you get to stand on the fatigue trap. I'm in a hurry here. Now, what I'm going to need to do to kill these guys is use magic attacks, because... Seriously, they are hard to kill with any kind of physical attack. Also, they have determination. Determination 2. So frustrating. Yeah, this could take a while. Goodies. Oh, I got gold. Hmm. I should have healed him. Yeah, do over. Oh no, I don't get the gold that I got before. Just defend. It's not like you're going to do significant damage to these guys. Okay, between you and him, Avaro has the most physical defense, so he will be dealing with this, with the uh, blocking. Mm, whatever. Hey, let's see what these jerks look like. Uh. Not going to help. Maybe I should have stopped recording after this battle started. Yeah, this is why I'm going to have a hard time trying to kill these guys with any kind of physical attack. Hmm, healing. Ha! I is such a good healer. But still. More healing is better. So, I have to get through and get to four of these uh, monoliths. Defeating everybody in the process. And I've only got 60 turns. Well, I'm sure I can do it. Now this guy's deep in determination. Territory, so he's going to be doing 23 damage, I think. Maybe 22. Ouch. Ouch. Okay, note to self, those red armored guys are bad news. Now, once I get Ranrin Yuiki in range, she can really dish on some hurt as well, from a longer range than Mikeyu can. Man, this isn't even worth it. But, let's do it anyway. 
Yeah, I wish I had a healer in range of this guy. <laughs> but... Once we've gotten to this crossroad, we can fully pour three spellcasters worth of power in there. Hmm. Let's start with... Vishu. Did this guy just spawn there? So sometimes it spawns the red guys and sometimes the brown guys. The brown guys, as I recall, are just pushovers. See, they can't even hurt you. Oh great, a buff. That'll be useful. Hmm. Small healing potions and large healing potions. Artillery spell! I won't be able to capture them like this, but... I mean, come on. To be quite honest, even I have gotten a bit tired of capturing everything that I come across. Although... Oh, sweet. Defense. She's gonna need that in this battle. Yeah, Deedhelm is good for getting the first shots in. Pushovers. Hmm, maybe not as much pushovers as I thought. Oh, and these damn archers. It's like somebody finally managed to figure out an AI for these guys that didn't suck. They have a tendency to go against guys that can't fight bad and pack and guys that have low defense. Which is why I pulled back my spellcasters after cleaning out this room on knights. In my trial run, at least. What the hell do you think you're doing? <sighs> Wasting my time is what you're doing. Wow, he was able to do two damage to Rishi. Okay. We need to scoot Mikeu forward, so... Let's see if we can get this guy down. Hmm. Okay, this is good. Ha! Hey, fairly good level up. I mean, it didn't totally suck. That's what I can say for it. Boy, these enemies give pretty good experience. Any kind of weakness? Okay. Navarro, any kind of buff? Well, this one's a little bit better. Get some lucky hits or something. We need Mikeo to move in. Ah. Okay, fine then. Okay, that's good. Great, now, as long as something doesn't spawn. But they spawn on even turns, so yeah, something's gonna spawn. But at least I can move 
Mikeu in range. Man. So persistent, they even knock Rishu and Sayori down to half life in only five turns. Hmm. Oh great, another red one. Oh yes, I wanted to speak about my clicking program. Those of you who are observant may have remember that during the trial I actually had a clicking program. It was a different one though. That one was programmed in AutoIt. And this one is programmed in C++. Or perhaps it would be better to say it's in C. It's in C++ after a fashion, but it doesn't have any C++ functions that aren't available in regular C. In any case, I needed to switch out of AutoIt. It doesn't do some of the stuff I wanted it to do, and actually when I was researching it a bit, I found that a AutoIt is actually not open source software. And it's not popular enough to have its own compilers like C. I mean, I use Microsoft Visual Studio, but I could do it in other compilers if, you know, they were more convenient. Okay, Magic Capture Attacks. This should go well. Another thing I did after the trial run and before this came out was I reinstalled my operating system. You know, you just gotta do that periodically. But the downside of that was I had to... Or rather, that was the time I decided to... Go and... Oh yes, yeah, stop using auto at all. Which is why for such a long time you haven't heard the clicking. Ouch. Rishu is hurt. Notice that nobody seems to be interested in attacking you. That's because none of these guys can actually harm him. But anyway. Let's keep pushing forward. All we can do, right? You know what? I'm not going to strategically try and keep anybody from doing anything to anybody. After all, we don't have a lot of time to waste. Now something I really needed C++ for is the use of threading. I realized this after I tried to mm, heal him. I was trying to figure out a way to get auto it to do some kind of threading anything until I finally realized it's just not possible. But it's really convenient to have threads. My clicking program for instance has a couple threads going at the moment. 
the one that monitors the status of the mouse buttons and another one which monitors the the program window well you can't see the program window but there is a program window trust me Something else I'd like to be able to do is finish this um, Direct 3D Interceptor program I had, I was working on before I reinstalled my operating system. If I could get that working, it could make the best bots ever. Next, next. All right, Rishu, can you do this? Apparently not. And she didn't weaken it enough for you to do it either. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be using you in the front lines. I mean, sure, it cuts down on the amount of attacks I receive, but it also means that I can't counterattack. Let's end Rishu out front again. Oh, <laughs> there we go. He did two perfect dodges, but then. Rishu got a counter in, which is good. You know what? I'm gonna unsummon you. What? No, I'll pull him back. I'd like to get Kisnira up further to the front. Yu isn't bad as an attacker, but Kisnira outclasses her, him. So Kisnira, you're up. And Dethelm get in range. What more could we ask for? Alright, everybody's accounted for. And of course they attack Kisnir. Twice in a row. I think I may be right about their AI. And now free counterattacks. While they waste their attacks. Yes, this is going to go much better. Hmm, I just remembered something Grisha has available to her, which I haven't used much. Uh, maybe at all? Well, we'll see how well it works. Rishu, explode! <laughs> not bad, not bad. And conveniently doesn't kill anyone. Alright, Kisnir. Move in there. You're my heavy hitter, so... Proper equipped. Do some damage. I was just thinking, oh yes, we're equipped with the capture rope. But we're not equipped with our super long range bow. 
This should capture her, but she has a bit of dodge available. Ha! Great. Hmm. The bar got hurt pretty bad. Yeah, Avaro's a decent fighter, but not really, really good. So he doesn't have enough kick to really get any of those guys down to this turn. Oh yes, of course, let's attack the most person with the least defense. Bitch. Man, as soon as I get this first obelisk down, I'm going to cut this recording. I wasn't kissing your full when I started this. Okay, hmm. Well, we can't have her taking too much damage right now, so... Get a dodge or something. Okay, a shield. Shield activation means she survives. Ouch, that really hurt. See what I mean about these guys ganging up on the weakest character? They didn't attack Avaro. He was standing in range, but they attacked Kisnir. Except for this stupid woman who decided to attack Fia. Oh. Speaking of Fia, heal. I mean, it's not much healing, but it's better than nothing. Alright, a little bit pulling back for Kisnir. You've done well. But now it's time for old Rishu to come and tank some more. She is, strictly speaking, better at the tanking. Sure, free shot. On the one hand, I would really like to move you out of the way so my more consistently offensive characters could move in. But I mean, I can't just waste him. Oh, it must be time to pick on Navarro. Ah, sucker. I guess these ranged characters prefer to attack my ranged characters, which is convenient. Yeah, it's pick on Avaro day. Avaro, you're being picked on. Sucks for you, I guess. Magic attack. I still don't have any magic attack for Avaro to actually use. Oh boy, let's see. Smash! So, one of the pillars has been destroyed. But there's no reason to sweat it. Everybody, defend the remainder of the facility with your lives. Our victory is near. Okay, great. Anyway, this is running a bit long, so thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Although, I'm, honestly, I doubt that I'll be able to finish this in only one more. <laughs>